Good afternoon, everyone. And the first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Annie Lamo from Kagyu Sami Ling Monastery and the Tibetan Centre in Estilmuir. Annie. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by uh, thanking you for inviting me to talk today. Um, as you may see, I'm, um, are you here? I'm Scottish and I feel quite Scottish, although I maybe don't look it. I feel totally Scottish, but I've been um, a nun within um, the, the Kaju tradition of Tibetan Buddhism for more than 25 years. And throughout that time, I've lived according to Buddhist principles, and I've observed the discipline of a nun, and that involves um, wearing robes and shaving the head. And in all those years, I've traveled freely around Scotland, and I have never, ever been treated badly because of my appearance or because of my beliefs. So that made me think you know, about how Today in Scotland, we have an, a really a wonderful prevailing atmosphere of tolerance and understanding, and I feel that my own experience is proof of that. And actually, it makes me feel quite proud to belong to a country where it's like a general policy, and also the way of life, the way of life of the people is based on, on tolerance and understanding and acceptance of others. And from a, a Buddhist per perspective, actually, um, tolerance is ex extremely important. It means accepting that other people hold different views from ourselves. It means being willing to allow others to be different in their views and their actions, and to have an attitude of loving kindness towards those who are different from us. And it seems to me that's a really important aspect of modern life. Disturbances and wars and um, political upheavals around the world are caused by lack of tolerance. And lack of tolerance causes breakdown of relations between individuals, between groups. And on a national level, it separates countries and it even causes conflicts and wars. We're all human beings and some of us look different, but we all breathe the same air. And the only way we can survive, really, in the long run is through learning to live alongside one another. And I think if we want to achieve um, domestic harmony or good relations between ethnic and religious groups, peace between different countries and races, we have no choice but to learn to accept one another. So I really hope that Scotland will always maintain its adherence to the principles of tolerance and compassion. And also, as an example of how we can put that into practice, I'd like to end with some guidance that the Buddha gave about how to deal with difficult people or different difficult situations. So he says that um, when we meet these things, rather than reacting negatively we should think, if somebody foolishly does, does me wrong, then I will return to him the protection of my own boundless love. And actually, the more evil that comes from that person, the more good will go from me. So thank you. And the next item of business is a consideration.